Okay, what page were your homework problems on? 20. Okay, 27 and 28, have your books open. I'm gonna come around and look at them in just a second. Today we're gonna do it a little bit different. I'm not gonna give you the answers, you're gonna give me the answers, and then somebody's gonna come up and work it. Was there only one correct way to do these problems? No. There were multiple correct ways. So we are going to fi figure out the correct answer first. If you got that answer, that means your way works. Okay. If you missed it, then you will copy it down correctly, one of the correct ways. Because again, there's more than one correct way. We're going to try and at least mention all of them, even if we don't work them start to finish. Okay. Um, also, after we get through that, I have your 1.1 tiling the plane worksheet graded besides the few that didn't turn it in. Dane, Sophia, I didn't get yours. You probably have it. I'm assuming somebody wasn't paying attention when I collected it, if I had to guess. I don't know where you were, but I'm missing a couple. There's one more, I think, Nate, because you were absent. Okay, but I will get those in a second. And then weekly worksheets. We're gonna go over the weekly worksheet. We're gonna go over the tiling the plane worksheet. We're gonna go over this homework. And then tonight's homework is actually a review assignment. Um, at the end of each lesson, the teacher book gives me a cool down problem, which is just one problem that's kind of summed up in that uh, lesson. So you have a worksheet tonight that has a cool down problem from lessons one through four. So you have four problems for homework. Um, but I am gonna be very picky on the work that you show. So today when we're going over these, um, I think, like I said, your work is getting better. Just glimpsing at the papers I can see from here, it looks like you guys did a good job of showing work. Livy. Nope, it's just like one problem from that section. Kind of the main skill that they wanted you to be able to do in that section, okay? So I'm gonna pull up the whiteboard first and we're just gonna talk about answers from page 27. So on page 27, you guys had 1A, 1B, and 1C. Ethan, what did you get as your answer for 1A? 10. 10? No, 22. 22? Unit squared? OK. Did anybody get a different answer? Sophie, what did you get? 12. 12. Any other answers? OK. 1B. Reese, what did you get for 1B? 28. Any other answers? What'd you get? What'd you get? 18. Any others? I think that's the one, or that one. Uh, C. C, Dane. You got 18. Anything else? What'd you get? 16. Anything else? Those are the only two answers. Okay. So for 1A, the correct answer is 22. So if you got anything else, yes? Wait, on 1B, I got uh, 36. 36? Okay. So if you got anything else, when we rework it, just rework it on your paper, okay? So raise your hand if you got 22 for 1A. Okay, Sadie, come up, show us what you did, bring your book with you. So Sadie is gonna work 1A. While she's working 1A, I'm gonna come around and check for completion. Now, if you got 22, is your answer correct? Yes. yes, so if you did it different, don't erase what you have. You're only changing your work if what? You if you got it wrong. Okay, go ahead. So I separated the shape into three rectangles and, one, and two rectangles and one square. And then I filled in the side lengths.
us work to find the area of three rectangles. Raise your hand. Thank you. You can sit down. Raise your hand if you got the same answer, but you divided it up different. Stella, come show us how you divided it up. We're not going to rework all the steps, but show us. Mm, we just froze. Go ahead. You can show us, even though you can't write. Where did you divide it up? Okay, so she drew horizontal lines. There it comes. Okay, so she drew horizontal lines. We can just talk about it. She drew one right there and then another one right there. Did she still end up with three rectangles? Yeah. Yes. Would her math look exactly the same? No. no. One of her formulas would have been one times two. The another one would have been 2 times 4 and 6 times 2. Should they still add up to the same thing? Yes. Okay, why, Nolan? Thank you. You can sit down. Because it's the same shape. Because it's the same shape. So regardless of how I find area, I should get the same answer. Did anybody decompose it? Did anybody decompose it? Did anybody see how I could decompose it to get fewer rectangles? Right now I have three. Is there anywhere I could decompose it to get fewer rectangles? What does decompose mean, Jude? Where you like move the thing? Yeah, where you chop something off and move it. Um, here's what someone in the other class did, and it's fine. They took off this chunk right there, that one, and they just moved it right there. And then they found the area of one, oops, one rectangle and a second rectangle instead of finding three. Would that work? Yes. Yes. Okay. Lots of different ways to get to the same answer. As long as you got 22, does your way work? Yes. Questions on A. Jack? If it's the same shape, then how when we did that diagonal square and then we put it the other way, it was the same because of the diagonals. A diagonal distance is not the same. It's just the scaling of the paper. That's why. Because the grids, the diagonals of the grids are not the same distance as the length and width of the grids. So it should have actually been wider than four. It should have been between four and five if we did it properly turned it. So we would have to measure the grids on both of those problems and see if they were exactly the same, like the small boxes, or else we'd be like measuring in two different units. Okay, part B. Most people did this one the same. How many rectangles do you see, Dane? Three. Three. Did I give you the answer to this one yet? The answer to this one was 18, I believe. Is that right? No, sorry, 28. 28. We see three rectangles. Max, give me the length and the width of one of the rectangles. B. Okay, so six and six is the big one. So one of your formulas should have been A equals LW. Six times six is 36. Cooper, give me another one I should have came up with. Two times two, two. doesn't really matter because they're the same. So A equals LW, two times two is four. Last one, Livy. Um, yeah, same one. Two, two, so A equals LW, two times two is four. What do I do with my totals, Carter? No, nope. I know the area of the blue is 36 and of the two whites is 4. So, you it. yeah, 36 minus 4 is 32, minus 4 more is 28. Did anybody rearrange any of this problem? Sadie, what did you do? I did 6 times 6 and then I just took away 8. Okay, so it was the same thing. Um, some people. Just move that there. So now they have a four by two rectangle, just one rectangle to take away. Regardless, we still would take away eight. Questions on that one? 
Okay, C is the one that usually gives people trouble and it's either you see it right away or you can stare at it all day long and you don't see it. What are we looking for, Bryce? We're splitting, we're making a rectangle. Okay, so again, I always say if you're confused, focus on what you do know. What is the easiest shape to find the area of, Harper? A rectangle, look for a rectangle. Most of us could pick out that rectangle. Okay, what are the dimensions of that rectangle, Bryce? Two by six. Two by six, so I'm gonna start with that. A equals LW six times two. Some people may have got stuck there because they're like, oh, that's a triangle and I don't know how to find the area of a triangle yet. Livy, what do you notice about that triangle? Okay, I can't just count squares because they're not all full squares, okay? But if you put them together, they make a square? Put what together? Like if you take the first square of the triangle, the one all the way in the left corner, and then you connect it to the one in the top left corner, that makes um, a square, and then you go on the other side and you make two squares. Okay, Livy is decomposing and rearranging on a very, very tiny scale, which works. Who can make her life a lot easier? Chase? If you have an isosceles triangle, which is one where two sides are the same, like this one, you can always split it right down the middle. You see our two right triangles now, Liv? Then we can flip it, or you could flip it the other way. So that's gone. Now I have this rectangle. Jude, what are the dimensions of that rectangle? Two and six. What is, two and three. What is two times three? So 12 plus 6, this one's answer was 18. So let's see where you, see how you had 6 times 6? Mm -hmm. This is 6, but that right there is what? Two. So that should have been a 2. And then here you have it labeled 3. Oh, you made it too big, look. When you flip it. Look at your shape you drew right here. Does that look like a triangle? No. No, you should have stopped right there. Okay. Now, does it look like that triangle? Yeah. And that's where you can use your patty paper if you need it. Okay, questions on those three? Okay, next page. Let's go over A and B first. Let's make it a little bit smaller. A, what did you get as your answer, Haley? 24. And this one is centimeters squared because it's labeled. Anybody get something else? Naomi? I got 40 centimeters squared. 40, 4-0. Four Anything else? Jack? 28. Might get anything else? Reese? 20. 20. Anything else? These are the ones that we're going to be practicing more. There were two of these on the back of your 1.1 worksheet also. Correct answer is 28. Now, who got that one correct? Max, come on up. And again, if you, bring your book. If you got 28, you did it correctly because there are multiple ways to do this problem. Max is gonna show us the way he chose. Here, I'll stand close so our friends. I, I drew right here. So Max drew a horizontal line. And then I did. And then you do two times 
times two and then four and then u. Okay, so he's saying this top rectangle or square, the dimensions are two centimeters by two centimeters. Those were clearly labeled, so they were easy to pick out. Go ahead. That wasn't a good W. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we need the length and the width of the big rectangle. Common wrong answer is 36. Jude, why is your answer wrong? So Jude said that this side is 6. Jude, does that 6 go with that piece? No, so Max, help us figure out what that side is. How can we figure out that? You piece? subtract it because... That's a different... Yeah, so this piece right here is 2. So Jude, what does this piece have to be for the whole side to be 6? 2 plus what equals 6? 4. So that piece right there is 4. Keep going, Max. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I agree with almost all of what Max has. I would change the label to centimeters, though. Centimeters squared. But again, we're going to practice these. Remember, if it's giving us side length, see if it's giving the piece you need or if it's giving more than what you need. B, this one most people got in the other class, so we're not going to work it out if we don't need to. We will if we need to. B, the answer is 34 centimeters squared. Your two numbers, you should have gotten 40 minus 6. 40 minus 6. If you did 40 plus 6, what was your error? You, yeah, you did a combined area instead of taking out this white chunk. Does anybody need me to work that one out? Okay, because it was 8 times 5, and 3 times 2. Okay, the bottom one, C, was very, very similar. This one was just bigger numbers to do your math. Final answer here, 96. 96 square centimeters. Your two answers. You would have had A equals LW, 15 times 10 is 150. A equals LW, 9 times 6 is 54. 9 times 6 is 54. And then 150 minus 54 is 96. So if you missed it, fix it. Okay, so your partial, your products were 150 and 54. 150 minus 54 is 96. Jude, did you already fix it? Okay, so fix it and then sit quietly. Last one. Cooper, what did you get as your answer? 80. 80 is too large. Harper? 40. 40. So Cooper, let's fix yours. Cooper, turn around. What can I do here? What do you see? What two shapes do you see? You see one big triangle split into what? Two right triangles. Anytime I have two right triangles, what can I do with it? Two right triangles that are the same. Sophia, can you answer that? Yeah, I can rotate it around, rearrange it, and turn it into a rectangle. So when we do that, this one's gone. So it would go right there. Now I just have this one rectangle. So my formula would just be length times width, 5 times 8, 40 square centimeters. Yes? Livy? Did a triangle. Like I did the triangle together, and I just split it in half. So like the answer is 
So you did two rectangles and then took half of it? No, I just did, um, you did a whole triangle. I just did the triangle. So, yes, last year we talked about the formula for area of a triangle. Okay. I'm not going over that way, though, because we haven't talked about it yet this year. So if you did one half base times height, that works also. Or base times height divided by two, yes. Okay, raise your hand if these are starting to get easier. Okay, they're still kind of tricky. We're still going to spend some time on them. Okay, we're doing a whole bunch of them on Thursday. On Tuesday, okay, today's only Tuesday. Next Tuesday, one week from today, I will not be here. I have a doctor's appointment that I scheduled in June, and it was the earliest they could get me in. So I will not be here on Tuesday. You will have an in-class assignment. It'll be these. You'll, Ms. Becker will be your sub, not RTI, Ms. Becker, Ms. Paula Becker, not Paula Becker. Um, Paula Becker was a, my reading teacher. Carla Becker will be your sub. When you come in, when you come in, she will give you your assignment. Before you leave, you will turn that assignment in to be graded. Okay, you will also have a work, weekly worksheet to work on for by next Tuesday. So you already know what you're supposed to be doing. How should you behave for a sub? Let's go ahead and have that conversation. Sadie? Uh, just be quiet and listen. Yes. Good people. Yes. Be good boys and girls. Okay. I'm going to pause the video real quick. I have lots of papers to pass out to you. While I'm passing out papers, I want you, if your patty paper from yesterday is tucked in your book, I want you to put it in your Ziploc baggie in your binder. I want you to also find the notes you took yesterday. Do you have your notes somewhere so I can show them? While I'm passing out these worksheets, should be right there. I'm going to pass around a stapler. Hey guys, listen. Listen, so I don't have to say this 15 times. That's not it. It's this one. They say page 24 at the top. You are going to turn to page 24 in your book. Sophie's are clearly labeled. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to fold it to where I can see page 24 at the top. When the stapler gets to you, you will staple it right here on page 24. Where as you're flipping, if you need to open it, you can still open it, but it's clipped in there. So when I collect your books to make sure you took the notes you were supposed to take, there's your notes. So you get credit for those notes. Okay, so you're going to work on that while I'm passing out papers. Okay, pull your weekly worksheet to the top. your homework time guys not mine on the weekly worksheet turn it to the front side where it's the greater than less than problems at the top the comparing problems at the top on this side if you messed up on anything I tried to circle specifically where you messed up are there any on this side that you have questions about that you would like me to work out on the board Okay, I feel like most of the mistakes on this side were just goofy mistakes. Um, you forgot regrouping. Some people I made a note, if you miss both five and six, I probably made you a note at the bottom that you might need a little bit more help with regrouping and I told you to come in and I can help you with that. Flip it to the back side. Who thinks they know the purpose of doing one together right next to where you did one on your own? Stella? Why do you think we did that? So, you can look at it. so it gave you an example to look back on. So if you missed seven or eight, 
and you can't figure out what you did wrong, raise your hand and I can tell you what you did wrong. Okay, a lot of people flipped the wrong one instead of um, flipping the one fifth to five over one, they made it one over eight, which would always give you the wrong answer. Okay, number nine and 10, we are gonna work out together. Okay, because there's lots of places you can miss, mess up. Each of these answers that were on the alone columns were worth half a point each. So if you got minus half, that means you messed up in more than one spot. If you got minus one fourth, that means you were just a little bit off. Okay? So number nine, everybody look at your number nine. If you did not get 68 as your final answer, so number nine on the weekly worksheet, if you did not get 68 as your final answer, I want you to find somewhere to work out this problem. You can just set it right up there, okay? On your paper, because there's lots of places to mess up. Okay, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDIS. What does the P stand for, Carter? In the order of operations. Parentheses, there's only one set of parentheses. Uh, some of you are skipping the step where you underline. I think if you would show that, it would prevent some of the errors that you're making. Ethan, what's 24 divided by six? Four. Four, write down my answer, drop everything else down. Stella. It's wrong. I, I took points off right there. Yeah. Any, if there's anything in the box, that means your final answer is wrong. If I took off for anything, that means you can't get your answer right if you mess up on any point. What can I do next? Jack? Exponents, because excuse or the E in PEMDAS stands for exponents. This is what got some people. Dane, what does four cubed tell me to do? Four times four times four. If you frequently miss exponent problems, take the extra seconds and write it out to the side. Bryce, what's four times four? 16. 16. Then we have to do 16 times four. A lot of people put 48 on this problem. I'm not sure where 48 came from. Um, but 16 times 4 is 64. But I did have some people get correct to this step and then they messed up. Why do we say Aunt Sally together? Harper? It, the rule is add and subtract from left to right. So if you added first, you missed this problem because it's add and subtract from left to right. So we would do that first. 64 minus 4 is 60 plus 8 is 68. Livy. I know where the 48 came from. Where? Uh, you took 16 times 3 and you multiply it by 3. Okay, so 16 times 3 instead of 16 times 4 because there were lots of 48. So either you guys all copied off each other or you all did the same thing wrong. That's why a lot of stuff that we do in here is in class work. So I know that it's your work and nobody else's. Um, number 10. Again, both of these had, a, these weren't easy order of operation problems. These ones were harder ones, okay? These would have been hard ones last year in sixth grade. These are about like average order of operation problems. We just have to keep practicing them. So five squared. Um, the answer to this one is 131. So if you did not get 131, you're going to copy this down somewhere. So five squared plus two bracket And again, I, I, if you got this one right, I'd put a smiley face because this one was a, this one's a tricky one. It has a lot of information in it. Nolan, are you with me? Can you focus up here, please? Okay, the P stands for parentheses. Why is that even kind of weird in this problem, Sadie? 
There's brackets and parentheses. Where do I put my attention if there's two sets of parentheses? Yeah, the most inner or the ones on the left. But in this case, they're inside of each other. So we would put our attention on the parentheses right there. Most people got that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy everything else down as I see it. Next, Dane, what could I do next? Okay, I have another set. Brackets are just a form of parentheses, so I got to get rid of them. So 5 squared plus 2. I'm going to leave the brackets for a second because this is where people kind of went crazy. Some people in this step made the 2 disappear completely. We've not done any math with the 2, so we can't make it disappear. Some people just added 2 plus 53 here. What do those brackets mean? I'm not going to do any math here. I'm just going to rewrite this step a different way. Who can tell me a different way to write that exact same step? Sadie? Five squared plus two times 53. Remember, those brackets or parentheses are just showing multiplication. If there is a number directly next to parentheses, it's telling you to multiply. That's what got a lot of people on this one. Okay, now we have exponents, addition, and multiplication. Jude, what am I going to do next? Exponents, addition, or multiplication? The exponents. What is 5 squared, Jude? 25. So 25 plus 2 times 53. I know our brain wants to take 25 plus 2, but is that what I do next? No, no because multiplication. multiplication comes first. So 2 times 53 is 106. There's our 131. Pull out your 1.1 worksheet. Look at just the front side. We're going to go over the back question probably on Thursday. But on the front side, I only took off points if you see minus something. In question one, I did add more words to some people's. For tiling the plane, I was looking for a repeating pattern, no gaps and overlaps. For not tiling the plane, we were looking for either like no pattern, there are gaps and overlaps. Okay, the second one everybody did really well. On number three, you had to have quadrilaterals, four-sided figures. You could have had a rectangle that was four by six, three by eight, two by 12, really one by 24, but that one wouldn't fit, or you could reverse all of those. Questions on the front side. Again, we're gonna go over the back side on Thursday when we do a lot more of those. Okay, listen carefully before you start moving. Oops. Put your 1.1 worksheet behind notes and homework in your binder. Put your weekly worksheet behind weekly worksheet slash IXL. While you are doing that, I'm passing out your homework paper. It has four questions, review questions, one from each section. Do you think you have to show work on this? Yes. Yes. If you do not show your work, you will lose points. I'm not giving it back to you and saying, hey, where'd these numbers come from? I'm just gonna take off points because we know that by this point in time, okay?